What is up everyone? Welcome back to April album of day. Uh, I'm excited because we're kind of getting towards the end here. So it's almost over, but uh, I've enjoyed doing it so far. Uh, but today's album is Hotel California by the Eagles. One that a lot of people probably know if you know any classic rock. Uh, the title track Hotel California is one of the most famous rock songs of all time. Uh, so that is a pretty recognizable uh, way to know what album this is. Um, I would say this one was actually recommended by my dad. Um, big surprise, he's a big Eagles fan. He likes just classic yacht rock like that. So um, I'm not surprised. He said he didn't really know albums like that. He kind of just listened to songs more so uh, on the radio. So I said, what about, I'm, I'm assuming you are going to say the Eagles. And he said, yeah, just say Hotel California. Just say Hotel California. <laughs> so that's a good one. Um, I've heard pretty much all the songs on this album before. Uh, I don't think I listened to them in order. So I heard them all separately before. Um, Hotel California, Life in the Fast Lane, uh, Victim of Love, and Try and Love Again. Uh, I really like Try and Love Again. It's my favorite like acoustic song uh, off the album. And a lot of people will say this is their favorite Eagles album or the best one. Uh, I actually like their self-titled album better. Um, I just really love... I mean, Take It Easy and Peaceful Easy Feeling are probably two of my favorite soft rock songs of all time. So that's probably why I like that one a little more. And just the, I guess if you want to call it in-between songs, uh, the middle songs, B-sides, uh, are a little bit better in my opinion. I just really like the way they kind of are composed. Um, the one thing I would say is negative about Hotel California is just the besides the big mega hits uh it's a little weak in the in-between songs uh i i did like the first waste of time but the second one kind of felt unnecessary uh to throw in there it kind of just seemed like a little boring kind of hard to grab your attention and pretty maids in a row as well um are also th th those just didn't really seem to captivate my attention at all um they're okay the dog is back uh they really just didn't seem to keep my attention and it was kind of hard to say i really enjoyed them i guess um the hits that i've mentioned are awesome and the last resort too is kind of was kind of long and drawn out like it was it felt like it was kind of going on forever i know it's a seven minute song and i love the long songs but it just kind of seem it seems a bit repetitive is what i kind of got from it um it seems almost like they just kind of hit the same chords over and over with no differentiation in the music it's kind of just the same exact thing same lyrics um very formulaic almost but the hits go absolutely crazy i mean hotel california has that awesome solo uh it's one of the most known rock songs of all time uh life in the fast lane has that really cool riff that's the melody it's awesome uh, cool storyline behind it too uh that i cannot go too much detail into but it does involve drugs um and someone just said it while they were driving fast in the car and he's like well you're gonna kill us and they said life that's life in the fast lane baby um victim of love is pretty good i would say it's a little repetitive as well but i really like try and love again that's one that most people don't really talk about I would say try that one out if you have not really listened to their acoustic stuff on that album specifically. Most people have heard Take It Easy or Peaceful Easy Feeling if you've heard any of their music. Uh, those are probably two of my favorite songs by them just because I just love the way it just relaxes me. Um, but this is a great album as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10. I wish it was a little higher. Uh, I think previously when I was looking at it, I I had on music board, I'd rated it an eight. Um, I don't know. I think that it just kind of falls flat with the in-between songs. The hits are so great, but unfortunately the rest of the album doesn't carry the same weight that the hits do and just is kind of composed very repetitively. Um, the reason I don't give point fives on these album a days is because I am rating them on music board. Um, so for that reason, I'm only able to use five star ratings. So I'm just trying to keep it consistent across the board. So it's, you know, you can only do like whole numbers when there's five stars. Um, 
but that's the reason when I do like more in-depth reviews, I will probably give decimal points or halves or quarter, whatever it is, uh, just because of how it's calculated. But for these, that's why if you're curious, it's only been whole numbers. Um, I like that one a lot. The Eagles mean a lot to me because of my dad and just listening to him and uh, listening to music with him in the car and stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of what I heard in the radio and we would be driving out to wherever the heck we were going. If I had to go help him with yard work or something like that, he'd be playing the Eagles or if he was grilling, he'd invite me out and we'd have the Eagles playing or something like that. Uh, as well as Prince, actually. Kind of weirdly enough, Prince and the Eagles. Not a combination you would think of uh, off the top of your head. But I also like Prince because of him. So uh, Prince review may be coming up, by the way. But yeah, I'm excited that this is almost done. I'm glad that I got to do this this thing and have the ability to do it. Um, I'm glad some people have enjoyed them. I really like just getting recommendations from other people because I can kind of see what they're thinking and like what kind of stuff they enjoy and just what makes them uh, happy. Um, so I'll probably do something like this again, probably not immediately <laughs> in May, but in the next few months, I definitely will. Maybe like a week long project instead, maybe like a like a specific genre week, like funk week, R&B week, um, something like that, like uh, metal week, I don't know. Um, that'd be a cool idea, uh, progressive rock week, just any kind of, maybe even like a subgenre specifically, um, like bossa nova, jazz, that'd be really cool. I actually kind of want to do something like that. That'll probably be another series. I've already thought of that, um, coming up. Just wanted to let you guys know, and it's getting quite bright out here. Um, I also will have another video coming up next week that it will be a specific artists that I enjoy uh, all of their albums ranked so be on the lookout for that uh, if you want to see the rest of the videos the list is right up there and be sure to check in the description as well if you want to find it um, also the discord if you want to just chat in there and without further ado we'll see you next time